It's open day at France's National Assembly for the country's newly elected parliamentarians. And for many, like Stanislas Guerini, it's an exciting step into the unknown. An entrepreneur with no political background, he's now an MP for the president's political movement. How easy do you think it's going to be, though, to adapt from a life as an entrepreneur to a life in Parliament? It's never easy to adapt, but uh, we have done many things uh, before in our lives, uh, all of us. Uh, we have been uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, we have uh, made some uh, different challenges, uh, so this is what we're going to do now. This is a new challenge and I think it's a good thing for the Assembly to have uh, different uh, experiences uh, and this is what we are trying to, to bring to the Assembly today. Most of the MPs for Republic on the Move are from civil society, part of Emmanuel Macron's promise to transform the political landscape. After winning a majority in Parliament, the focus now is on starting work. A majority in Parliament means Emmanuel Macron can get on with implementing his economic agenda. He wants to reform the labour law. And while he might have the support of new MPs here in Parliament, it might be a different story in the streets. Past attempts at workplace reform have faced strong opposition from trade unions. And the low voter turnout in the parliamentary election suggests not everyone will be on board with Macron's agenda. It's a bit of a warning to the president that you do not have the undivided sympathy of the whole French electorate. And in fact, it's given fuel to the opposition to say, well, you're not quite as legitimate, you're not quite as supported as you think uh, to carry out these reforms. To what extent Macron will be able to implement his agenda will become clear over the coming weeks. It will be another test of his ability to defy the odds. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.